Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Matilda. So I discovered this affordable sunscreen and I decided to show you guys and do a detailed review on it. So if you guys would like to purchase it, you can always get it. And that is the Apio Pure Block Aqua Sun Gel. So guys, if you want to know everything about this sunscreen, if it leaves a white cast, if it doesn't leave a white cast, all the details about the sunscreen, then keep on watching. So before I proceed to do the application, let's find out more about the sunscreen. What are the details about the sunscreen? First of all, this sunscreen is a chemical sunscreen and it has an SPF of 50. Really good. So what are the claims about the sunscreen? What does this sunscreen claim to be all about? So I checked the packaging and half of it is in Korean. So I'm more surprised because this is a Korean brand. So I decided to do a little bit of digging for you guys and I went on to translate what was written on the bottle and here is it on the screen right here if you care to know so let's talk about what they have said about the sunscreen in english this sunscreen claims to have moisturizing ingredients that hydrate dry skin ah, i know my oily skin peeps will be really furious with me you guys are mad at me because i keep talking about sunscreens for only dry skin don't worry guys i got you this sunscreen costs 4960 naira from shop with Tika 4 and you can get it on amazon for 15 dollars don't worry guys i will leave the links down below so you can purchase it if you're outside nigeria or within nigeria and this sunscreen is 50 ml which is 1.69 fluid ounce so i went on to do a little digging for you guys and i found some details about the sunscreen on the site so the sunscreen is a gel like sunscreen with 65 percent moisture it's lightweight and non-comedogenic so let us proceed to applying the sunscreen first things first once you open the sunscreen it has a scent it is not fragrance free i don't think they mentioned anything about being fragrance free but this sunscreen has a scent it has a citrusy lime scent yeah that's how it smells so two finger application real quick So far, there's no peeling when I rub it. It blends right into my skin tone. It blended really quickly and really easily. It has a watery texture and it doesn't, it's not sticky. Definitely has that glowy finish. If you apply it, this is how you're going to look. It's really not as bad, but if you don't like a glowy finish, you're probably not gonna like this. It's not sticky, but I'm gonna see how it applies on top of makeup as if i'm going out on a normal day i'm also going to reapply the sunscreen before i go on to do the pros and the cons of the sunscreen let's reapply the sunscreen then apply makeup on top of the sunscreen don't worry i'm not doing a full makeup tutorial for you guys <laughs> let's just reapply and apply makeup and you see how it looks the sunscreen is very runny and it has a green look it has a green color so even after reapplying the sunscreen the sunscreen still doesn't leave a white cast though it has a lightweight finish i can still know that there's sunscreen on my face like there's something on my face it doesn't feel heavy at all but 
Remember when I did my eccentric video where I talked about that sunscreen and I said that I felt like there was nothing on my face? It's not as lightweight as that sunscreen, but it is lightweight. I don't feel heavy. But one thing I would say I'm observing is that it has this minty feeling on my face. I don't know what that is, but it has that cooling effect. I don't know, but a cooling effect. I'm feeling it on my face. I don't know what that is. Could it be one of the ingredients that I talked about? Who knows? But well, I'm feeling a cooling sensation on my face. Now, let's talk about how it applies over makeup. So I'm not doing serious makeup. I'm just assuming that I'm going about my normal day because when I apply my sunscreen and my face is looking this shiny like this, I usually always apply powder on top of my face to mattify my face. So how does it apply on top of that powder? Because that is my daily routine. This is how I look in this sunscreen works really well with makeup like there was no peeling whatsoever it just blended really smoothly and I really appreciate that about the sunscreen now let's talk about the pros of this sunscreen but before I talk about the pros let me read the description of this sunscreen this sunscreen quickly absorbs into the skin leaving it with a supple and hydrated finish that is highly invisible so i'm assuming they are saying that although it has a hydrating finish that hydrating finish is not as visible meaning that it's not going to be too oily but although sunscreen is not really that oily on the skin it just has that glowy finish and i've noticed that that finish is really popular among sunscreen so first pro about the sunscreen is that this sunscreen does not leave a white card this sunscreen blends really easily into the skin it's like water it just blends so well even though i applied a lot a lot a lot it blended so well it wasn't stressful to blend it blended really quickly actually so i'm really impressed about that another pro about this sunscreen is i don't know if it's a pro but i feel like this sunscreen has a great price point i mean you're getting the sunscreen for let's say five thousand naira compared to other sunscreens this seems like a fair price you know when you compare sunscreens you see some sunscreen from seven thousand eight thousand nine thousand ten thousand and this sunscreen is four thousand nine hundred and sixty naira that from where i got it though <laughs> from where i got it so i think it is a great price point but i feel like price is relative it might not be a great price point for you but i feel like for what you're getting it's actually not bad the next pro about the sunscreen is that this sunscreen doubles as a moisturizer for me in the morning i don't really apply moisturizer i use sunscreens because the sunscreens i have are really hydrating like the eastern tree sunscreen it's really hydrating so when i apply that sunscreen i don't even need moisturizer in the morning so for this sunscreen it's also the same thing it's really moisturizing so you will not even need moisturizer in the morning when you apply this sunscreen because of how hydrating it is. sunscreen has active ingredients like baobab seed extract snow lotus extract oligo hyaluronic acid and let me be real guys this these ingredients they just do one thing which is hydrate your skin but it's not actually any ingredient that can really treat any serious skincare problems they're just hydrating ingredients <laughs> but they put it in the bottle like it's something so revolutionary but okay i think one of these ingredients is the reason why i had that minty feeling because this sunscreen they pride themselves in being really non-irritating and really soothing for the skin so guys another yeah. pro about this sunscreen is that this sunscreen is great if you have dry skin because of how much hydrating ingredients it contains so if you have dry skin it's for you but I'm sorry to my oily skin folks. You know that if you have oily skin, you can even still use the sunscreen. The only problem about the sunscreen is the finish. If you don't like this finish, then it's going to be a con for you. But if you have oily skin and you don't have a problem with the finish, then it's actually a pro. Because that hydratingness, that moisturizing feeling, you need it. Don't think because you have oily skin, you don't need moisture. You need moisture even more than everybody else. So if you have oily skin, this sunscreen is still good for you. But it's more lean, it's more geared, it's more tailored towards people that have dry skin. I mean, they even said it in, on the bottle that it's for dry skin. So, I'm sorry to my oily skin people. I'm sorry. Next time. I promise. <laughs> okay, guys. Let's talk about the cons of this sunscreen. Now, the con of this sunscreen, guys. I'm not even going to lie. When I saw the sunscreen on the Shopitika 4 website, I was like, damn, 4,000 okay i'm buying it so i bought it and when it got delivered to me 
I was like, this thing is so small. Do you know that this sunscreen is smaller than the Essentry sunscreen? I thought the Essentry sunscreen was the smallest sunscreen ever, but this sunscreen is actually smaller than it. But here's the thing, it's actually the same quantity with the Essentry sunscreen because this is 50 ml. But here's the thing, I don't know if, should I call it a con? Because when you think about the price point, you're getting 50 ml, a good sunscreen that does not leave a white cast and it's really hydrating, great for dry skin. I don't know, is it a con? I wanted to complain about the size, but how can I complain when I have a sunscreen of over 8,000 naira that is the same size and does almost the same thing? So, is it a con? You guys, you tell me, is it a con? Because I really like when sunscreens are big. At least give us 70, 80, 100 ml. Something that would really last us a while because we're going to be reapplying this sunscreen throughout the day and we're going to be using a lot. So, if the sunscreens are a little bit bigger, it would be really appreciated. So I would keep on hounding about it. Sunscreen brands, you guys, should please make the sunscreen bigger, please. Is, is that so much to ask? Just make it bigger. Now, the next con for this sunscreen is actually a 50-50. Is it a con? Is it not a con? This sunscreen has a fragrance. The fragrance is not bad. Not bad at all. I actually like the fragrance. But here is where the con comes in this sunscreen is not going to be really good if you have sensitive skin i mean if your skin is sensitive to fragrance i wish this sunscreen did not come with fragrance i would really appreciate if skincare brands just stop putting fragrance in their skincare because fragrance can be really sensitizing and it can be really irritating for the skin not all fragrance not uh, not all skin not everybody reacts to fragrance but some people react to fragrance so if you're the kind of person that reacts to fragrance then this sunscreen is not for you unfortunately but i've been using the sunscreen no reaction no breakouts all of a sudden yeah my skin is not the best i know but no breakouts all of a sudden from this sunscreen so that's something to also know so guys what are my final thoughts on the apio pure block aqua sun gel is it a yes or a no for me it's a yes i like the sunscreen it doesn't leave a white cast it blends really easily and the price point is really the greatest catch for me because i mean you're gonna find sunscreens of this size for twenty thousand naira <laughs> so you're going to get the sunscreen for four thousand or 5,000 depending, depending on where you buy it from so I think it's a great sunscreen and I would definitely recommend it to anybody and also I would be repurchasing the sunscreen again I like the sunscreen it's a good sunscreen so guys thank you so much for watching if you guys want to purchase the sunscreen or any other skincare product you guys don't forget I'm your plug I'm going to help you to source any skincare products you need at a very fair price i would you pay me and i will do it for you so guys if you want a one-on-one -on -one skincare consultation between me and you you want to find out what your skincare problems are you just want to talk to me about it one-on-one -on -one, just click the link in my description box so we can have a little chat for a fair price guys thank you so much for following along with this vlogmas guys i know i've not been consistent i don't know if i can do this vlogmas so I don't know if I can be doing this every day. I'm just going to try to keep doing as much as I can. Some days I will skip, some days I won't skip. But just know that I am trying my absolute best. Thank you guys so much to everyone that has been subscribing. Everybody that has been watching. The main reason why I'm not even be really that consistent. Because I'm noticing that if I'm posting every day, it's affecting my views. So it's like, I'm trying to post every day to boost my channel. But if... Posting every day is making my channel go down. Should I really keep doing it? You guys should let me know in the comment section what you think I should do regarding this vlogmas dilemma. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see me outside of YouTube, you can check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, TikTok, or Matilda Duku. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> so guys, thank you so much for watching. Before you go, I'm going to leave my sunscreen reviews right here so you can check out the sunscreen. I'll find the perfect sunscreen for you. And I'll also leave my video up here on sunscreen. You should check that video out so you know the importance of sunscreen. Okay? Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.